When you just want to relax after a hard day's work or prep for some Netflix and chill before it turns into Netflix and constantly alone, the last thing you want to do is find something to watch. After all, you've got better things planned for tonight. I'm Vamsi from Smart Dance Proxy and I've been using my smartphone to watch Netflix during lunchtime, commute from work and back and whatnot. So here are some best Android and iOS apps that'll make your Netflix and chill session hella tight. If you're being over ambitious about the quality that you want to stream in, Fast App from Netflix tells you whether or not your internet connection is capable of handling 1080p. Fast App will start benchmarking your internet connection and show you your internet speed. For those who are wondering how much bandwidth you'd need to watch 1080p on Netflix, well, we need about 3 megabits per second. No server selection, no errors, speed test results in just one touch. Try it. There are a lot of plugins on your Mac or Windows computer that let you see IMDb ratings for the movie or TV show, but since there are no Chrome plugins on mobile devices, you can't use any of them. Flutter lets you see IMDb ratings for the movie or TV show that you're about to watch. As of now, it's only available for Android, so sorry iPhone users. Once you configure Flutter, simply open the Netflix app and then tap on something you want to watch. Flutter will show you the IMDb rating along the right side. If you do nothing, the banner will disappear. It's always a disappointment to know that the movie you wanted to watch for a long time isn't available in your country. SmartVPN can help you tackle that situation. SmartVPN, as the name suggests, is a smart way by which you can go view geo-restricted content from all around the world at the click of a button. And the best part is that it works even on mobile data. Once you launch it, just choose the country you want to masquerade into and choose Smart VPN and hit connect. Once connected, go back to Netflix and search for the movie or TV show that you weren't able to watch. And now you can see that it's unblocked. If you have a habit of watching movies or TV shows that your mates are watching, then this app can save a lot of time for you. Streamio crawls through the internet and finds your sources through which a movie or TV shows can be viewed. To get started with Streamio, open the app and create a free account. Once you do that, you can search for any title and find various platforms on which the title can be viewed. For example, if you choose Big Bang Theory, it'll first show the names of all the episodes. Once you click on an episode's name, it'll show you the sources on which the video is available. You can tap on the source you want and then start watching. Losing track of your favorite shows is a common thing. If you keep on forgetting the airtime on your favorite shows, then TV Time is the app for you. Once you launch the app, it asks you about the shows that you've watched across streaming platforms. Check the shows that you've watched and get started. Once it's set up, it'll show you the list of upcoming episodes of your favorite shows. For example, the latest episode of Sharp Objects is coming out on Monday. The For You section has community reactions, quizzes, podcasts around the shows that you like. Upflix is a simple app that lets you keep track of the shows releasing on Netflix all around the world. Once you're in, you'll be shown a list of new TV shows and Netflix movies that you can watch. If you tap on the spinning wheel on the right side of the screen, you can choose your genre or IMDb or Rotten Tomato ratings and tap on spin. Upflix will choose a random movie for you which falls in the criteria that you've provided. Reaching out of the keyboard and mouse while watching Netflix on my computer breaks the code of conduct of a lazy binge watcher. If you're one of those guys, then you can install Unified Remote. Unified Remote lets you control your Mac or your PC through your smartphone. Just download the application on your computer and your phone and then set it up. Now you'll be able to control your PC. Just tap on the basic input option and you can use your touchscreen as the mouse pointer. Once you tap on the keyboard icon on the lower left side of the screen, you can control the keyboard with your mobile phone as well. To use while watching Netflix, just connect the phone to your computer via a unified remote and start the connection. Open the tab where Netflix is playing and you'll now be able to control your Netflix through your phone. Watching movies becomes even more fun when you're watching it with friends or family, but what if you're living in a different country altogether? Binge watching a show together is difficult in that case. Rave allows you to watch videos from YouTube or Netflix together. Just log in with the proper credentials and get started. Once you're both in, start a rave by clicking on the plus icon 
Once you tap that, you can see various options for you, including YouTube, Netflix, and Google Drive videos as well. Once that app loads the video, both sides will start playback, making it seamless. You can pause and rewind and forward simultaneously as well. While you might be super happy with your new phone, thinking that finally you can play Netflix or Prime videos in 1080p, you might be surprised that many popular phones do not simply have the compatibility to play Full HD Netflix. If you want to know how to find this out, you can install DRM Info, which lets you have a look at your security patch level, which is basically the benchmark of your video playback compatibility. For example, this Google Pixel first gen can play 1080p Netflix because its benchmark shows us L1. Also, this Redmi Note 5 has L3, so it wouldn't be able to stream 1080p Netflix. Anything below L1 can't play 1080p on Netflix. So if your phone has L3 or L2 as a result, you can only stream in standard definition. So those are just a few apps that make your Netflix and chill session more pleasurable. Let me know in the comment section below what app you'll end up using. And also don't forget to check out Smart DNS Proxy if you're keen to unblock deer-restricted content like Netflix, Hulu, Pandora, or even Amazon Prime Video. It's only $5 a month and there's a 14 day free trial. As always, I'm Vantin of Smart DNS Proxy and smack that subscribe button because it's just Netflix and chill with your girlfriend.